back to the Knit Along Podcast. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah, summer's busy. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, kids have been good, yeah. crazy. As good as two toddlers can be. Yeah, work's been nuts. <laughs> it's been disgusting, so I it's don't want to so do anything. so hot out. The real feel is like 103 degrees today. Oh. It's so gross. Yeah. I don't know how you people in Arizona do it. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot do it. All this hair. Give me some sweater weather and some snow, please. Yes, give me snow right mm -hmm. now. So I'm Ashley, by oh, the way. I'm if Christy. You're, if you're tuning in for the first time. And if you are, welcome. <laughs> and if you're checking us out again, thanks for coming back. Yeah. Um, we try to record every two weeks, but it's been a little bit hectic this summer, mm -hmm. so it's been about every three weeks. Um, I'll post a little we be here where you can find us on Ravelry Instagram. We have a Ravelry group, it's just Knit Along Podcast. Mm -hmm. We have a Instagram for the podcast as well mm -hmm. on Instagram. And yeah, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, say hi. Yeah. Yes. So you've been good? I've been good. Yeah. yeah. Knitting a little bit. A little bit. A little bit here and there. Have you worked much? I worked last Saturday. Oh yeah, I visited you. Don't oh yeah, 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 yeah. Went to my LYS mm -hmm. for a little treat. <laughs> I worked at my LYS, put a bunch of stuff on hold. Oh, how it is. <laughs> Knit life. Yeah. Oh. We are in the midst of our Knit Along. Yes. Um, it is the Kale S-O-S-Y on Instagram. Anything sport weight or finer. Knit it up, post, post it. it, whips count, Yep. finish some stuff. There's a lot of whips. 72 stitches, girl, you are killing it. You are killing it. it, oh my god. Holy cow. I think you're like handing our asses to us, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, I, was, I finished almost two pairs of socks and I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I put the sleeves on a sweater and knit with size 10 needles. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's my that's my uh, contribution to it okay. so far. And then I forgot it for the recording. Awesome. It's really cute. <laughs> I wore it. We'll post a picture somewhere. Yeah, I'll like um, I'll take a new picture because the other one I'm like not wearing anything underneath. I'm just like, let's get my shirt. It's awesome. I had a bra, on, but you know, <laughs> that's pretty cute. I didn't have like it wasn't layered. <laughs> now I want to make one because I think that would look really cute with dresses. Yeah, and that's leggings. what I, yeah, I bought the metamorphic, metamorphosis dress from So Liberated. Ooh, I haven't seen that, that pattern. One. To make, I'm going to make something to wear underneath it in the summertime, awesome. or the summertime, fall. Oh my god, I'm losing my damn mind. Uh, <laughs> we should do a sewing thing, maybe. Yeah. Because I'm having, I'm somewhere in between my quarter and midlife crisis. <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing crazy things. Like, I bought a pink sewing machine on Etsy. It's and really cute. I'm going to play the violin, apparently. So, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a mess. Yeah. But new hobbies are always good. They are. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing I wanted to mention straight off the bat is, so we're recording on Saturday night probably post it Sunday evening, July 1st. And that is when the Tits Out Collective launches on yarn websites everywhere. Mm. I think there's 250 plus participants now. So what it is, is a bunch of indie dyers, makers, pattern designers, they all teamed up after Countess Ablaze posted um, her colorway, which is called, If I Want Exposure, I'll Get My Tits Out and somebody copied it um whether they meant to or not they they did so she's kind of reclaimed it and she's opened the challenge up to other makers and if they dye a colorway release a pattern make a bag etc inspired by that colorway they have to donate a certain percentage of each item sold to their charity of their cho of their choice and yeah it's just kind of a celebration of everybody doing something good and with a colorway that was created from something not great. Misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that launches tomorrow. I think it's exclusive to the month of July. And then August 1st, all of the participants are donating, you know, big check to whatever charity they want to. I'm doing Lazarus House, which is our local homeless shelter. And I'll get to more, more of that later. I'll show you the colorway I dyed up. 
but yes. So you forgot your FO. I did. <laughs> you want to talk about it or save it for next time? I'll talk about it. So I made the Ranunculus sweater by uh, Knit Cafe Midori. I think that's the pattern company's name. But um, it's really cute. Super cute. <laughs> um, I used uh, Tosh Marina Light in smokestacks and Rowan Kitzel Case in Majestic Held Together. I almost frogged it like a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, I don't know. Anyway, I almost frogged it, I blocked it, I thought it was cute, I finished it, and I've worn it a bunch of times. It's and super then cute. I put my kids to bed and I ran out the door and I forgot <laughs> it when I was coming over here. But it's How cute. many skeins of each did you use? Um, I used one and a half of the kid silk no I used one and a half of the Tash Marina light mm -hmm. and about like two and a half of the kid silk case oh, that's not bad. so it's a pretty good stash buster yeah and I'm doing stash dash with the knit girls okay. and I held them together so that was like 1200 yards oh like, perfect boom, gone I need to do stash yeah dash. I signed up for 5,000 I think that's too too high of a can you still sign up yeah all right I have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff yeah. I need to finish. I think you can still sign up. I don't know. Okay. Probably. probably. I think probably. it's pretty yeah, laid back. Yeah. Hi, Nick girls. You're not watching, mm -hmm. but hi. Um, they're having so they're having their retreat in a few weeks, and I was really hoping to go, and I might still like kind of try to go. It's in Nashville. I think in three weekends, two weekends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Never been to Nashville. Be fun. Me neither. Nice quick trip. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah. Um, I have two, well, I'm counting this that one. That one counts. It's totally it's counts. Fine. I could totally have kitchenered <laughs> it, or I could have made show notes, so you're welcome for the show notes. <laughs> um, so I found, like, a ton of single socks that just, you know, they had a sport weight, so I'm like, why didn't I finish these? This is stupid. Mm -hmm. And I, so, okay, my mom, side story. My mom and my sister are crazy, and they encourage my crazy, and I collect Pyrex. I'm looking at it right now. Um, so my sister found the Mrs. Maisel Pink Daisies on like Facebook Marketplace or something in southern Wisconsin, an hour and a bit away from us. And my work schedule's been crazy, so I was like, I can't like I can't drive up to Wisconsin to get this Pyrex, even though it's super cute and super affordable. So we ended up leaving at like 6 in the morning when I'm not going to be doing any work. And we drove up there, we came right back, and um, yeah. I brought a second sock with me, cast it on the car, and I almost finished it in the three hour round trip ride. End of story. But yeah, my Pyrex is beautiful. <laughs> so this is um, the Spring Fling colorway, Nomadic Air and Spring Fling, on the Twisty Sport base. And it's really pretty. So good. That's my favorite base of yours. It's a good base. Mm -hmm. It's really, like, even though it's sport weight, it's not, like, a super heavy mm -hmm. base. And I knit, they matched up pretty well. Like, I'm always surprised when my whips are years in the making and they match up. But I cast on in the car. I think I got to here. So I did toe up here. And I really like them. I finished this, I think, yesterday. And my sock blockers are perfectly catchy designs. I got them at Stitches Midwest, I think, two years ago. And I always buy a pair every year. You never have too many sock blockers. <laughs> and they're super cute. And then second pair it just needs to, the heel just needs to be kitchen nerd because I did an afterthought heel so oh that first whip I finished the first one I think two years ago and this whip I finished the first one I think three years ago <laughs> so this is nomadic yarns spark sock in the fierce colorway yeah, I just need to kitchen art this was my first foray into nine inch circulars also. I knit one uh, one magic loop and one nine inch circular. So this one's a little bit tighter. Yeah, they match up pretty well. And the soft blockers are from Knitting Left. They're shark themed, I've shown them before. Yeah, they're pretty cute. 
Love a good sock blocker. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. So I'll kitchener that tonight and then pop it in our group. We have uh, threads open for FOs and whips mm -hmm. for our knit along. So post pictures. We'll draw, draw prizes from both threads. Yeah, it's exciting. What are you working on? I am working on my car bath pullover. Ooh! So this is some seriously old stash. So I got I got through the, the easy part of my, I guess it's all easy, the easy part of my, my weekender. And I needed some just straight stocking knot. So here it is That's this. Ready. So this is, this stash is probably like 10 years old at least. This is Barocco Ultra Alpaca Light, which is a sport weight, and it's held doubled, and this is the Prune Mix colorway. That's really pretty. So, I've been working on that. I like it. Nice and easy. I'm going through like a cropped sweater, cropped sweater phase babe. right now. Um, do you want to do your want other ones? ones? Okay. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm in the middle of a row, so I'm going to try and finish it while you... And then, I don't know, way back, I think maybe episode one or two, I had purchased the yarn for my Find Your Fade. So I've been working on that. That's really cute. So this is um, Bar or Barocco, oh my gosh, Brooklyn Tweed Veil. And I'm on my second color. Doing it on size three, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. Is that a lace weight? It is a lace weight. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want something too big. I mean, it's gonna be, it's pretty sizable already. It looks like underpants right now. Um, <laughs> <It does well. laughs> um, yeah, I really like it. So I don't have the other colors with me to show you how, they, how they're how they gonna fade, but if you remember episode one or two, I have them all. Are you um, liking the yarn? I am, this is my first time working yeah. with it. And I'm very happy with it. And then my third whip, I mean, I have a lot more whips than this, but these are the ones that made it into the bag for this recording session. Mm -hmm. It's teeny, teeny, tiny right now. But this is Hohi Locatelli's <gasps> Like a Clutch. This is not going to focus. You started it. Yeah, it's not going to focus. But anyway, it's That's great. So exciting. It's um, the Silk Cloud and the Sema held together. This is my super special birthday splurge. I got a gift card to my work for my birthday. And I bought this. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and I think, um, Tracy from Grocery Girls is knitting this too. I think I saw that on Instagram and she's knitting the same color as me, but she's oh. like way farther than I am. Twinsies. Yeah, yeah. Hi Tracy, if you're watching. Yeah, hi. <laughs> I'm so behind on my podcast. I'm like, right. I just saw it on Instagram. I was like, oh, I'm knitting that too. I saw, who, I watched, um, Jacqueline and Julie on Brooklyn Knit Folks mm -hmm. podcast yesterday. That, they're so cute. They did like a newlywood game kind of oh, episode. Fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then I saw that Katie from Inside Number 23 is back, which is exciting. It's been a few months since she's recorded anything. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the middle, so whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so speaking of Christy's deep stash, <laughs> she gave me these three skeins of Tussa Silk last time we recorded. And I, I told her, like, if I don't knit it by the end of the month, I have to give it away or something. <laughs> so I, like, cast on immediately. <laughs> um, this is Spirit Trail Fiberworks Tessa Silk. I don't think it has a name, but no. it's, like, a rose goldy kind of color. So I'm looking at it. I've had that in my stash for probably since 2006. Oh, my gosh. It's... So good. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to work with. I never knit with Tessa Silk before. So this is the Friendship Shawl by Sylvia McFadden. You know I love my giant worsted weight shawls. And it is ticking all the boxes. So it's a giant, it has a giant garter um, edge. And I'm just gonna knit until I run out of yarn. It's so good. It's so nice. I love it been on a shawl kick lately. <laughs> and then the other shawl I'm working on, I shared it last time. I, oh, I know. I, very far. I added the third color. So this oh. is Mascot by, oh gosh, I gotta write down the name. <laughs> Justina. Justina. I'll post it, post the name in the bottom. But yeah, it is a fun 
garter stitch shawl and it has little pops of a contrast color in there and I ended up using the purple so I think there's enough contrast it'll be is that the original color yeah yeah it's very subtle it's pretty but nothing nothing I put with it felt right so I just went with that and I'm using Rowan fine tweed yeah, I can focus in Keld Bedale and the purple is Burnsall. So this was on clearance at Webb's a little while ago. And I actually bought it for the shawl. Nice. So, using things that I bought for the things that I planned to make with them. It's a beautiful thing. It doesn't happen very <laughs> often. And then the uh the next sock whip that I'm trying to tackle. So I have one sock done, and this is before I even started dyeing self-striping. That's how old this sock is. So I have the first one done. This is Nomadic Yarn's Twisty Sock in the Guns Gold Girls colorway, I believe. It's a metric song, but I did the first one a while ago, picked up the second one. It's just a my regular 60 stitch sock with a flegal heel. I usually do the fish lips kiss heel or an afterthought heel, so back in the day. <laughs> and then I cranked out some more stuff. So I can't remember if I shared this last time, but this is my Defense Against the Dark Arts colorway relatively new. And then... So this is my contribution to the Tits Out Collective. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so this is, if I want exposure, I'll get my tits out. Electric Boobaloo, because I enjoy a good pun. And this is it on the Yak Sock. So it really deepens things and subdues that neon yellow and orange. And this is Twisty Sock. And then this was my first take, which I might still release at some point, but I really wanted a little something brighter to pop up and break up those pinks and oranges. And yeah, that is all I've really been working on. I mean, the shawl. I should have finished the shawl like last week, but I've been, what? So I've been much pretty done. I know I've been pretty monogamous with it, and then just so many heels to put in, <laughs> all that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. You want to do dream mitts first this week? Yeah, I think we have a little bit of time. So I bought a pair of overalls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm so lame. I bought a pair of overalls because I'm four, and um, overalls are in right now. I know they're really cute. They're they like kind of like, like the legs are like kind of tapered and stuff. Nice. But anyway, and I was thinking that Andrew Mowry's so faded pullover would look really cute underneath there. So I'm a little bit obsessed with making a so faded pullover right now. You need to make so. Faded. Yeah, I went into my work today and looked around, and I didn't see anything. Any, like, I want to do Tash Marino Light, it's my favorite, and we have a ton of it, but I just, nothing really stuck out to me. So I gotta do a little more sleuthing and figure out what I want to do. And then I also saw that Amy Christopher has released a sweater pattern called the Savage Heart Cardigan, and it's That's just like, good. it's just like a really cute sideways knit, just throw over anything cardigan with like really simple lace work. I really like that. And then because I need more giant long-term whips, I am slightly obsessed with the Optic Blanket by Pearl Soho. Which one is that? It's like the squares with black and white. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. They have a new like gradient one. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Gradient stripes. It's really good. So yeah, I don't know. I also started a soccer blanket. I didn't bring it because it's there's like two squares. But do I really need a sock yarn blanket, that blanket? And then I have a crocheted granny square blanket that I've been working on for like 10 years. 
you but if you look in my my Instagram my Instagram profile picture, it's a bunch of those a bunch of those stacked together with a drink, and I took that like we. Like yeah, we were was, hanging out one day. I took that like I think I was still in six California. or seven years ago. Yeah, yeah. so I need, you need to, to finish. I need it. to. Get, I know. And then my daughter took newborn pictures, like wrapped in it, and we just hit all the ends. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's still like she's two now, and I don't think I've worked on it since before she was born. So I need to get cracking on that. It's awesome. It's really great. Yeah, I think I bought all that yarn for my for myself when I turned thirty, and I turned thirty a long time ago. Stash Dash. Think about Stash Dash. I know. That's like so, so many yards. I know. I know. I don't even know. Like so I'd have to weigh it. So uh, yeah, it's in um, Taki Cotton Classic. Yeah. I don't even know if that yarn exists anymore. I should probably find that out before I work on it anymore because I don't have enough of the main color. You could always make a pillow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Then you'll just be done. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I have another dream knit. Um, Sandra C. Shout out to Sandra C. Hi, Sandra. She sent me a couple weeks ago. I forgot to mention it last podcast. Um, she sent me the patterns to the Ginny mitts and socks. So I really want to knit those. I need to figure out what yarn I want to use. I for sure want to make the mitts in gray. And Shocker. some sort of... I know. I know. Anyway. You just, could use like the leftovers from your fade, maybe. Yeah, maybe you like hold it double. Mitch, yeah. Yeah. Be pretty. So, and then I don't know what color I want to do the socks with yet. I need to uh, do the Hermione and Crookshanks socks still. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about those. I have a lot of dream knits that kind of spill over into stash enhancement as well. So, I'll start with the ones that don't. <laughs> um, so shawl craziness as usual. Under the Milky Way by Melanie Berg. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. It looks like something I'll never finish, but <laughs> it's so beautiful. And the colors and the photos are great, as per usual. Um, Postcards from California by Heidi Kermeyer. Oh my gosh. It's like a giant, I think it's rectangular. It has a, like a square, like a mitered square. And she did different shades of gray, like a gradient. Oh, yeah. And then yellow for like the it's good. bulk of the body. And I think there's some gray stripes on the end. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I just saw that yesterday. Ooh. Well, that kind of spills into some stash. Oh, really? I, can, I can share that because it's right here. So I bought this um, Julie Asselin Fino. She had a, it's like a, it's called a pound party or something like that. I don't know. But I really love the colors that were in it. It's a bunch of just assorted skeins and they all weigh different amounts. So I might try to make this work. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so there's the most of these two. And then just these as the accents. Otherwise, I think I might do a uh, buccaneer shawl. We'll see. I'm not familiar with that one. It's it's one main color, and then it has little like feather and fan sections with um, four or five other colors. I had to. I really like this color. It's not my usual cup of tea, but it's really like kind of. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like the colors in this had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice and it's um, merino, cashmere, and silk. Ooh. So super fancy. Very soft. And then I've been thinking a lot about my Rhinebeck sweater because I should have cast it on like last month with my track record. And I'm going to do Ronin by Andrea Mowry. I had bought yarn for it. I'm super excited. <laughs> and then I was thinking of doing Sun Daughter by Diana Walla, also if I have time. That's a pullover, so I don't think it'll take as long. It's a worsted weight pullover with a little bit of color work. So, if I am super ambitious and work on nothing else, I might get both done. We'll see. Yeah. I at least want to do Ronin because I know that I'll wear that all the time. Oh yeah. We had a brief cold spell, was it last week? Where it was like 
60s. Yes. It was yes. glorious. It was so nice. I had to wear a sweater on our walk into town, so I popped on my Rhinebeck sweater from last year. It was so nice. <laughs> so nice. More like dreaming of fall. Ugh. It's been disgusting. Mm -hmm. yeah, those are my dream nets. I went on a favoriting spree today because I think this week Rhinebeck, it, or Rhinebeck, Ravelry is donating a certain percentage of all pattern sales to assorted charities. It's 100%. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Of their, their profits. Their profits. I think it's through tomorrow. Yeah. So I need to go buy some patterns. Yeah. So we're at the favorite part of the podcast. Oh. Oh. So goodness. much going on. We bought some stuff. Bought some stuff. You know, you know how it goes. As you do. I forgot one of my. Of course. One of my stuffs. Oh, I bought that too. I didn't bring it. <laughs> so I guess I'll just start with this because it's, it's beautiful. Pom pom. It's a good issue. It is a good issue. I need to resubscribe. Yeah. Look at that. I know. There's a sweater in there, and I like. I was working the other day, and I figured out like all the colors I want to do it with. We carry it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like half of the stuff I don't think I would ever wear, but I love it. Where, there's like one with a chevron. This one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we have that yarn at work and I was kind I'll of find the big picture. playing around. So I love this one. That one's good. I think that's really pretty. I love those colors that she used too. That is Laden by Natalie Sellis. Sells. And Christy likes. I will never wear it or make it. No, it's but really cute though. It's really cute. This is Herrera by Paula Pereira. Super cute. Mm -hmm. And the whole theme of the issue is stripes. So we're fans. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for an audio podcast, the uh, Pom Pom Pomcast is very good. I highly I recommend it. that one. It's good. They don't. They post maybe quarterly. Maybe monthly. I don't know. Anyway, I've been listening to them for a long time. They're they're lovely. They always have really interesting guests. Mm -hmm. I, I see them post on Instagram. I think I follow. Yeah, they're lovely. I'm a fan. So what else did you buy? I, what did you buy? <laughs> I bought... So I went to my work a while ago and oh, this is I so found... Pretty. One of them is wound because I was trying to placate children. So I'll just show the ones that aren't wound. So this is Sweet Georgia. Oh god, I'm gonna drop one in the wine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a disaster. Yeah, I'm a disaster. So this is the Superwash Soft. It's a chunky weight, and this is the Ivy English Ivy colorway. It's so good. It's so good. I think I'm gonna do some sort of Carbeth of some sort cardigan or pull off pullover variety I'm not sure yeah that's really pretty but it was on it clearance so nice and I had to get it before it was gone forever are you getting rid of sweet Georgia things just like random change. stuff yeah, yeah. Like we, we just got a ton of their sock yarn so I don't know things just filter through so honestly if you go to my shop wool and company and you like something just get it don't don't wait just don't do wait. it which leads me to my other or can we keep going yeah, keep going. Okay, which leads me to my other thing. So when I worked last Saturday, I restocked the Tosh Marino Light. <laughs> Do you have more of those? Uh, yeah, there's like, I think there's three more. Okay. Um, so this is Tosh Marino Light in the Fragile colorway. And I'm going to, come on, focus. And against my better judgment, I'm going to make a sweater for my daughter who like is, who knows if she'll actually want to wear it or not. But I bought that one. And I then, totally had that in my cart on Tasha's website a while back. It looked completely different. And then this is Mayette, M A I Y E T. So, again, for my daughter, it might be a huge waste of time because she has decided to be a jerk when I give her stuff that I've made her and throws it on the ground and says no because she's two and two year olds do that stuff. Um, Such a good mom. <laughs> so I wouldn't pick those up today because I put them on hold last time I worked. I went and grabbed them today. Nice. I'm very excited about those. And I got the um, issue five of Lane. 
There's some good stuff in there. There is. Yeah. Um, I wish they did subscriptions. I know. Should I keep going? Yeah. Okay. I'm almost done. So, I'm on a mustache kick. Oh, did I just put... No, okay, my pen's not on. Okay. So, this is Shiny Happy People. Oh, that's cute. And I love it. It's sort of like a gradient stripe. How many stripes are Um, not mm -hmm. sure. There's a lot on here. And then, so this is Shiny Happy People, and this is called Apple Picking. I think this is my most favorite mustache I've ever Oh, I wanted that purchased. one. Apple Picking. And there's a new one called Bohemian Rhapsody. What? That's, I think it launches next week. Stop telling me these things. And I might, I don't know, I shouldn't get it, but I really want it. I need no more striping yarn. <laughs> oh, man. And then I did Fiber Share, and I got my package from my swap partner all the way from Hawaii, which was really cool. Um, her Instagram is escaping me right now, but we'll add it mm -hmm. so you can check her out. This is from AY Dye Works, hand dyed in Hawaii, and okay. this is their 90 Merino 10 Superwash, or 10 Nylon. So it's like a pretty blue. I don't actually have a lot of this color in my stash, and this is really awesome. So make some cool socks with this. My son has already claimed this one because <laughs> it's red. This is Persimmon Tree Farm, the Piggy Toast Superwash. It's 100% Superwash Merino. And this is 560 yards. So wow. I can make him a pair of socks. I can make myself a pair of socks. I can make like a whole family's worth. I can make word. my daughter a pair of socks. <laughs> but really pretty i really like it and then she sent me wandering wool and this is the helen helen Hel i don't know anyway this is uh 75 25. this is midnight sun and it's in my favorite color of all time gray a little bit of brown so very awesome thank you very much and that's it I, so I guess I'll start with the things that are actually for things and not just me being a wool pig. So, excuse me. Tight. I have had so much FOMO because everybody is in Portugal, they're going to <laughs> Portugal, and I've been wanting to go there for quite a while. We almost like randomly booked a trip last year. So, I saw this yarn, The it's retro... Retrosaria, she has a, my phone is blowing up, I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, she has a shop in, in Lisbon? Can't remember, I'll post it. But this is the Veroa Worsted Weight in the 595 color. And I bought like a lot of it because this is going to be my Ronin. And Ravelry li lists it as a DK, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough. I think I got like nine skein. So, so good. Yeah, if they have any left over, you can have it. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, that's on tape. <laughs> <laughs> I found yarn for you, actually. But oh, really? I don't know where it is. Yeah, I have some uh, cat sandwich fibers for you. <gasps> so, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's like a scummy yellow green. And it's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. So perfect for Rhinebeck. And it's very like rustic wool. I love it. And then I popped in my LYS to visit Christy. Mm -hmm. That was a nice, <laughs> a nice little. I know. Just let me know when you're there. Cause I never, I never go in there, even uh, though it's like right down. I'm the not there for like a long time. <laughs> I'm barely an employee. Oh well. It's fun you though. Get the discount. It's fun. I mean, I, I, I like everyone that I work with. Yeah, it's everyone fun. you work with seems really cool. Yeah. A lot it's of the so, same people. Yeah, it's like people I used to work with yeah. like a long time ago, and then regular customers from when I worked there a lot who now work there. Oh, cool. And then, like, you know, friends that I've been friends with for like 10 years also work there. <laughs> it's oh, that's just crazy. like, yeah, it's just like a nice little medley of It's so nice. People. Yeah, I love it. And then really cool new people. I miss working in a yarn shop sometimes. Well, no. I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't have any free time to do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. But I know. Yeah, it would be. It's I, fun. I miss it. It's working fun. from home isn't that great. Yeah, I used to do that. It's hard. It's it yeah. kind of sucks. You need to 
pull yourself out otherwise you get I get pretty bleak yeah I used to like sit and like have the office on in the background mm -hmm. and then like I worked as a graphic designer from home but yeah I was like was this lonely. is how I have the time to watch all of the random crap that I watch <laughs> I'm so jealous of that <laughs> oh my gosh I watch so much bad stuff I love the World Cup and like I haven't watched any of it because my kids are just like oh. no put on Daniel Tiger Matt's been obsessed with the World Cup uh, he works from the couch most days now yeah <laughs> he's very happy he used to play soccer like in high school and stuff so he's happy oh I forgot about these <gasps> um. <laughs> those are like oh they're so good so I ordered that yarn the Portugal yarn from Tolt yarn in Washington and I had to get a little sock yarn like this one. That one's that. amazing. I know. Oh. It's so good. So this is colorway 207, 201 and the yarn is Mondim. And I just love the little like logo. I'll tell it's you what. so cute. As soon as I get home I'm finding that one. I know. <laughs> they still have it. Good. I'm gonna order I, it. I got another one and I have no idea where it went. <laughs> But I love ordering. Like we went to Tolt um, a few years back. We did the Beat the Blurch 10K and it's Incarnation, which is the same town Tolt is in. So I had ulterior motives for signing up for that run, <laughs> but whatever. I still did it. So I have to recake these if I want to crank them on my machine. So that might be a project for this week. And then when I went to visit Christy, I so. Do you want to talk about this? Uh, nah. We'll just say there's the, there's some potential controversy surrounding the yarn. We don't know. Brooklyn tweed drama. Yeah, we don't know what's up. Um, I exchanged my Peary, and I didn't know what else to buy, so I ended up buying some Shelter, so that I could. I have I have five skeins of Button Jar Blue. Or, yeah, it's just Button Jar. I have five skeins, I'm going to use it for a shawl, and then I realized I wanted to knit the Sun Daughter. So I exchanged the Fury and got Snowbound for my contrast. And we don't know. We don't know if the controversy is real. If it is, it kind of sucks. Um, if you want more information, you can follow A Verb for Keeping Warm on Instagram, and she's posted a few things there. But we won't get into that. And then I also got some Tosh Merino Light. I'm really bummed you only had one of these because I totally would have bought more. Yeah. I'll probably get more. You have so much Tosh in that store. Angie bought it all, didn't she? Probably did. Angie. Angie. Oh, the owner? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cut about. that. Um, <laughs> so, this is Forager. <laughs> I don't know what the owner's name is. It's Angela. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. And she probably bought it all. <laughs> Look at those speckles. So I don't know what this is going to be. It's going to go live with the rest of my Tosh Marina Light, which has its own Rubbermaid container. You probably put something together. You have like an epic Tosh Marina Light stash. I could just like start a fade that never ends. You could. And it'll just live or on like forever. A soccer and blanket that can like cover the earth. Probably. <laughs> I think I figured out like my yardage the one day and it could like go to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something like that. Oh. Uh, I'm not even joking. Or it could go around the moon or something. I don't know. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> and then I got some sock yarn. Got a little mustache. This is the R2 colorway. Which I don't think I have. I have a lot of these Star Wars colorways. I also got Ray, but I couldn't find it. Oh wait, I have mine. You can show you have your Ray. Yeah, mine's still in the bag from last week. Oh good. So just pretend that's Ashley's. Yeah, I got this one too. <laughs> I think I have at least six or seven Star Wars yarns. And then I got my first Lichen and Lace. This is, I think it's dyed in Canada. 80-20 sock yarn. This is the Marsh Lily. That's pretty. Yeah, this will probably be socks. It's really soft. Oh. 
Hello. Yeah. It feels like there's some cashmere in there. But yeah, not. it's nice. And then I've wanted this one for a long time. That's really pretty. This is Volenvine Blitzed Base in the Outlander colorway. I like the show. Yeah. I don't watch that anymore. I still need to finish season three. I kind of skipped over season two, but maybe I'll watch it yeah. at some point. I read the books. Yeah. Did you read I, them all? I read most of them, and I like I never really liked it. I just kept reading them thinking <laughs> they'd get better because so many people told me how good they were. <laughs> <laughs> this is a time before children when I had, like, yeah. I, uh, I still need to watch Handmaid's Tale season oh. two. I watched the first season. I watched a couple. I just... I'm having a hard time with that one. Are you, are you on season two? I'm on season one still. Mm -hmm. It's just, it gives me all the... I thought I finished season one, and apparently I still have like four episodes, so... I've been waiting for season two because I thought I ran out, but I did not. So maybe eventually I'll finish it. And then I went on a Countess of Blaze bender mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. I placed two orders. Um, so my first order, I did, these are all Lady Persephone sock yarn, which is 75% BFL and 25% nylon. Dressing up box. Ooh. Very pretty. She has some really nice colorways. Always fun names too. Mm -hmm. That one's really cool. <laughs> I got told to feck off by the Countess. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to make some really fun socks, I think. I'm excited about that. Afternoon tea. And then I ordered um, this H2O on the Exotic Traveler 4 ply, which is 50% baby camel and 50% mulberry silk. It's really nice. It's pretty. It has a nice halo. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's 400 meters, so about 440 yards. I don't know what it's going to be. It might be it might be a hat. It might be a cowl. I'm not sure. It has to be something, like, close to my skin. But I ordered that, and they accidentally sent me the H2O in the Persephone sock. They told me to just keep it. It's pretty. It's really pretty. That'd be a great hat. That is... Yeah. Yeah. Even if I hold it double. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it, it's interesting to see how, it's like the same thing with the yak yarn, just to see how more muted and rich the color becomes when you change the base. Yeah. I'm a fan. I love my bright colors. And then she was at Woolen Dublin, and they had a few extra skeins of the exclusive colorway. So I don't know what this is going to be. This might be a shawl. Crazy shawl. This is the Gin Made Me Do It on Lady Persephone Sock. And it's so pretty. I love that pop of bright purple on there. Yeah. I've also been on a advent calendar buying <laughs> kick because every Christmas I see everybody posting all of their awesome little packages that they're opening, get little presents every day of December, and I'm always so salty and bitter <laughs> because I don't have one. So I bought um, the Harry Potter Year 2 from Dragon Horde Yarn, and then I bought the Woolberry one too. <laughs> I only got the 10 gram Woolberry skein though because I'm holding out for another one that gets released tomorrow. I need to budget a little. Yeah. yeah. But my, th my plan, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, so I use about 40 to 50 yards per pair of socks. So what I think I'm going to do is just make a bunch of mismatched socks with the Woolberry Advent and just wear them all okay. together. That'd be pretty. Cause I'll be able to get, you know, like six pairs of socks or something. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Or six socks, I can't remember. <laughs> so I think it was a lot. I looked into it. Yeah. And I was just like, I have so much stuff here. I know. You could make your own advent calendar. Yeah. Yeah, with all your stuff here. I considered doing that for myself too, but then I'm like, I'll never do it. I might um, 
do like a sock club next year where I just put like do like paper bags. Yeah, those are cool. Mine. I need so. to do that. I've yeah. been trying to crank more, but I mean, work has been work has been crazy. So I pretty much changed my hours. So now I start at seven and I get done around ten. But then some nights I have extra skating to do, so I have like an hour of skating while we watch TV from like nine until ten thirty. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been fun, but I get some time off next week, so hey, there you yeah. go. Yeah, nice trade off. Um, Should we banter? Banter. Yeah. Banter. <laughs> we yeah. Uh, I'm like I mentioned earlier. I'm going through a crisis of some sort. <laughs> I just, you know, when you get into, probably a lot of it's working from home, but when you get into like one of those funks and you feel like very unoriginal and mm -hmm. you're just like, I need to do more with my life and I need to like do all this stuff that I want to do, but never make the time to do. So I bought my sewing machine, I bought some fabric, I'm hoping to start making things. And it's a really cute pink, like mid-century Atlas sewing machine, I found that on Etsy, and I got some cute fabric from Circa. We should do like a craft beginning or no? Yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. Once I like figure out how it works. Yeah. <laughs> There's like lots of YouTube videos on it, I think. But it came with like the bobbins and everything. I think there's a ruffler and a buttonholer. Mmm, nice. Mm -hmm. Could do some ruffles. Yes. It is very, you feel very cool when you make ruffles. Yeah. Yeah. You're just awesome. Like, wow. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> and then... I really wanted to, so I have like an electric guitar from when I was in high school, so I was like, I'm going to play my guitar. <laughs> and then I was like, maybe I just want an acoustic guitar. So I went through like two days of really wanting to buy a guitar, and then I went to Goodwill and they had a violin there. I'm like, okay, this will do. So I oh. bought the violin. <laughs> and my cats are very interested in it. I found little YouTube lessons, and I was like, you know, like, ah. And the one cat just like would... Every time I made a noise, she'd come out from wherever she was, and she'd just sit there and stare at me and cry. <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> and I'd cry. I'm like, I'm sorry. I need to, like, at least attempt. Yeah, that's so, fun, though. Yeah, it's fun. Hopefully, I, like, stick with it. And now Matt's talking about getting a keyboard or something so he can jam with me. Oh, man. I know. Family band. Oh, God. <laughs> That's fine. And teach the cats how to play the triangle or something. <laughs> That'd be really cute and funny. That would be cute. I haven't done anything that exciting compared no. to that. I've just been really down lately with all of the stuff that's been going on. Yeah. And like between like calling my representatives and donating to different charities and stuff, I just like need like to escape like at the end of the day so i've been playing video games like a ton and not really knitting so what have you been playing i've been playing mass effect andromeda which is like oh. a, like a space game it's like exploring space and has lots of like it's very like story driven it's really cute that sounds fun it's not cute but it, it's good but i've been doing that because then i don't think about i turn my brain off and i don't think about you're not tempted to go online and yeah. Read about yeah. Like, my, so, my, I'm Cuban. My whole family, like, one half of my family is the Silent Seekers. So, it's just, like, it's just upsetting. I don't really, yeah. like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to get into it. But, if you feel like I do, call your representatives, donate to the, mm -hmm. the proper people, and I will leave it at that. But I've been playing a lot of video games to turn my brain off. So I don't get really sad in the evenings. <laughs> but we, we do care. We care a yeah, lot. I really do that. care. Do yeah, you? I really do care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, there, was, um, there, there were demonstrations in, I think, 750 cities today. Yeah, I saw some of them yeah. on Instagram. I, um, I was going to take my son to one of them, but, like, we just had a lot of, just had a lot of stuff that I couldn't get out of going on today, so. Did they have... Any local ones? Yeah, there's one in St. Charles. That's oh. what I was going to take my son to. But I just I had like appointments I couldn't break and just stuff going on. So. I'm doing a cocoa colorway. Hopefully I'm going to dye that next week. And then I'm going to donate. That's going to be like, it's always going to have some charity attached to it, I think. It's going to be one of those colorways. And the first one's going to be 
Is it racist? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then donate a certain percentage. Yeah, I, I gave them some money last to week. To help reunite the families and I whatnot. gave money to the Texas Civil Rights Project. Yeah. Anyway. And then ACLU probably, yeah. They have yeah. enough money. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Find smaller smaller people that are more on the ground. Okay. That's that's my recommendation. Yeah. And what I've, you know, seen for people. Help the little guys. Yeah. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I've been, what have you, have you watched anything? Christmas you know I in July? Have. <laughs> um, so I just discovered today that there is another Hallmark channel called, what? like, Movies and Mysteries. <laughs> and even though it is still June, they are having Christmas in July. And I think it's, like, two weeks of Christmas in July. And then the real Hallmark channel starts their Christmas in July. So oh, basically man. July is all Christmas movies. And I think that the... Hallmark Channel I just discovered. I think that's the lower budget Hallmark Channel. Oh. The one I was watching today, um, it had Bender from Breakfast Club. Oh. He played Santa. <laughs> what? Yeah. He was like a janitor pose. He was like Santa posing as a janitor. I know like, I've seen like Samwise Gamgee and like oh, really? one of them. I don't know. I don't really watch them, but yeah. I watched that briefly. I have one recording right Morris? now, so is he in them? He's in some of them. So. Some of them go on more on Lifetime, I think. I don't watch Lifetime very much. I like the wholesome, the, the wholesome, wholesome Modern ones. Channel movies, not the like do Double Daddy. That was the good one on <laughs> Lifetime, but I don't yeah, no. Oh my gosh, they're all so scandalous. I don't even oh, have yeah. Lifetime. I mean, I have it, but it's not even in my guide. I like to use like. It off. I don't think I've ever watched Lifetime. Have you seen Death of a Cheerleader? No. That one's from like the 90s. It has Tori Spelling in it. Oh, Tori. Oh my god. And the girl from Face on the Milk Carton, whatever her name is. I don't, don't know what any of that is. <laughs> Face on the Milk Carton was like a book that I read when I was little, but they made oh. a TV movie and they had this woman in it. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. It's like 90s-tastic. Yeah. About some cheerleader that gets murdered by her friend, and then she thinks she can cover it up because she's, like, a teenager. Yeah, and no one can cover that stuff up. No. Don't even try. So, uh, that was on Amazon. I watched that. Yeah. And then I've been watching Scandal from the beginning because... Oh, Olivia Pope. I your know. amazing jackets. Oh, so much good oh, outerwear. Oh, she has so many good coats. So oh. much red wine. Mm -hmm. Those giant glasses. I have those somewhere. You do? Yeah, I do. <laughs> My mom got them for me from for Christmas one year. Yeah, that's funny. So I I like watched uh, maybe the first three or four seasons a while ago, and I gave up because there was just too much like too many like smoldering eyes and like oh lots of staring, and lots I'm of like, staring and tragic dramatic. music and it was just too much. Yeah. I mean it's it's a fun show. I really like it. But I'm reaching that point again. Yeah. I th yeah, I think I stopped halfway through season two, maybe? Yeah. We're probably at the I same know. point now. I love I love a good Shonda show, yeah. but it sometimes I feel like they go on too long. Like Grey's Anatomy. Grey's. I think I've s I think I like I, I watched through like season nine. Did you? Yeah, I, and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I think I gave up like after uh, what's his face left. Oh, I'm before that. We, one of the, the the blonde one, or like the Patrick Dempsey? No, it was... The other one? I can't remember what his, name, yeah. his real name is. George. Oh, George! Yeah, after George oh, left, George. I think they gave up. Yeah. Oh, that was like early on. That was pretty sad. That was pretty sad. I watched like random episodes. I saw McDreamy leave and Izzy leave and all that, but... Yeah. And oh, then man. Matt and I have been watching Superstore, which is really cute. It's on Hulu. It's just about employees at a big box store and their day-to-day -day life, but everybody has really big personalities and lots of fun. <laughs> and then I started watching The Staircase today while I was doing yarn prep. That is a true crime <laughs> documentary on Netflix. I think they had a few episodes, um maybe a few years back and they just released some new episodes which is really cool because he so basically without giving too much away uh, a woman dies she's at home alone with her husband she falls down the stairs 
but there's like a lot of blood and they're like questioning him because obviously like he's the only one there and there's all these like other things that come out like he has a male lover on the side um somebody from his past died tragically in the same way so it's like you're watching it you're like there's no way like this was an accident and he got a new trial last year i think which is why there's new episodes now there's also an owl theory like if you listen to my favorite murder they mention the owl theory in a few episodes i believe yeah it's pretty good um and that is on netflix i think there's six or eight episodes good good yarn prep tv yarn prep yeah yeah i uh finished watching brooklyn 99 oh yeah <laughs> all the ones that have been out nice. and then we um we started watching season two of luke cage how's that it's okay i'm hoping i think i'm i think we're like three or four episodes in it's just a little slow not a lot's happening mm -hmm. you know but I'm hoping like things will pick up because I think the cast is really great I really like like the actors and stuff in it so I'm hoping that it'll get better but so I far it's kind of a slog the season one the first half is good mm -hmm. like um yeah and then see the second half is kind of like which is kind of weird mm -hmm. but it's good I like you know I like all the actors and I like you know, and I watch all the other, like, Marvel and Netflix shows, and yeah. so, like, I gotta keep watching these. Um, and then <laughs> we watched uh, Pacific Room 2, <laughs> which, Pacific Room 1 is amazing. If you have, it's about, like, giant robots fighting sea monsters, so if that's your <laughs> cup of tea, sign, sign up for that, it's really good. But um, the second one, it's with um, John Boyega from Star Wars and Attack the Block. He's Finn in Star Wars, so he's the main guy in that. And then, like, Clint Eastwood's son is, oh like, gosh. the other guy. Whatever. That guy. That guy. Um, but, yeah, it's just, like, a fun, silly movie. We got it because my son will be all about it. So so we got it to watch with him because it's not really, like, super scary. For little guys, we can pass forward anything that's scary for him. And that's really about it. They added season two of Queer Eye. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's crazy. That came out really fast because we talked about it like the second yeah, episode. Yeah, I still haven't watched it again. No. No. I fell asleep during the first episode of season two, so we haven't started it again. Oh, there's a season two of Nailed It that came out. Oh, yeah? My son loves that show. <laughs> and Glow season two. I really liked Glow. Oh, I need to get back to that. Oh, that was fun. That was a fun show. Oh, yeah. We did a big Harry Potter rewatch because they're taking it off of HBO. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And like I have all the DVDs, but it's always fun it's to watch so much it. Easier when it just yeah, to, like, when it's turn on. It on. Yeah. yeah. So Matt hadn't seen them in a while, so he got to relive that. And I keep waking up in the middle of the night, like always at like three fifteen for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So I've been just rereading. For the socks for Dobby Cal hashtag. Oh right. Yeah. I read a book. Oh yeah. It was weird. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I don't even know if I want to talk about it. I need to look it up after this. <laughs> so I kept seeing people recommend this book called The Pisces by Melissa Broder. And um, I kept seeing it come up and like the the cover art's kinda cool and I was like, oh okay, I'll check this out. And then last weekend, there was an article in the New York Times, like, nine great summer reads, and it was in there, and I was like, all right, I'll bite, I'll read it. And it's not very long, but it's not usually my, what I usually read. I think it's like, I don't know. You it's, said there's a mermaid? There's a mermaid. There's a lot of graphic adult time scenes <laughs> that I don't usually read books that have that stuff, and I was just like, I don't know about this. It's just weird. I don't know. Check it out if you want. It's really short. I don't have a lot of <laughs> It's a glowing recommendation, I know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I usually, I'm really boring. I'm very boring. I usually read nonfiction. <laughs> I, I keep buying books, but I never read them. Like, I'm reading this other book called The Truth About Animals. <laughs> it's <laughs> nonfiction. And it's just like weird animal facts. It's like fascinating. Cute, like, 
the the eel. Mm -hmm. Like people have been trying to find, locate their like sex organs for like two thousand years, and really? like they still they don't know how they don't know where they are. Weird. And just like weird stuff like that. Things that about, sounds like a it's a cool book. book. It's it's interesting. Yeah, I listened to this podcast called Keep It, um, and. One the help one of the co-hosts, Kara Brown, she recommended it, and I was like, okay, you're a cool chick. Like I like you have good opinions and stuff. I'm gonna check it out, and it's interesting. It's cool, but yeah, it's kind of weird. And then what else am I reading? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's about it. I bought some biographies this month. I bought the Shirley Jackson biography, like a haunted life or something mm -hmm. like that. And then I bought a Frida biography. Oh, Frida. I want to go to that exhibit. Which exhibit? The one at the V&A. What? The one with all her... Remember you said... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Victoria and Albert. In, yeah, yeah. In London. In London. We will not be going to. No, I wish. They uh, have, like, all of her original makeup. Yeah, and, and her clothes. super cool. Uh, uh, who posted that? Was that Lisa Eldridge? I don't know. You, you tend I think me. it's Lisa Eldridge. She's a makeup, um, makeup artist. She posts YouTube videos. She went, I think it was her, I'll post it here if I was wrong. love Frida. Oh my gosh, it was so cool. Like, they had her original eyeliner pencil and her red lipstick. Oh, so cool. Um, so yeah, I bought biography. Um, yeah. Oh, I might be going to South Africa, which is pretty cool. That's exciting. Matt got invited. His best friend from high school is born there, was born there, and his whole family's there, and they're getting married in February. So, we're going to try really hard to go. It's in, like, a suburb of Johannesburg, I believe. And, yeah, I'm going to look into safaris and stuff. We'll see. There aren't really any around where he lives. But, I mean, if you go to Africa, you have to try to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. So, we're probably going to spend a little bit of time there. We were going to Japan to visit Matt's brother while he's stationed there, but might wait till fall, maybe. Hopefully we can do both. I need to stop buying yarn. <laughs> need to stop buying the advent calendars. You need and, both, girl. And sewing machines that I probably will not use. By the way, Stitches Midwest is next hey. month. <laughs> Come see us. <laughs> I wish I could say that I would cold sheep until then, but I probably won't. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna... Dang it. Well, maybe. I gotta get that Bohemian Rhapsody yarn. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try to be better. Let's just say that. We'll try to be better. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what I'm gonna get to stitches. I just wanna go. I don't go. either. I don't need anything. I don't know. You should just go and get a hotel room with me and hang out and yeah. drink drinks. It'll be fun. And knit. But like I was telling Christy, if I have that much like downtime by myself... With You're not gonna be by yourself! Well, like... You know what I mean. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna be, I'm not used to being calm and, like, not doing anything. What do you mean knitting? I know. know. Come on. I don't know how to relax anymore. That's the problem. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always looking for something, like, that needs to be worked on. Yeah. So, we'll see. <laughs> well, I'm staying there, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm real excited. I want to go to Ikea while we're there, if I stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's right by Ikea. It is right by Ikea. Yeah. Uh, and then Rhinebeck is just around the corner. Mm-hmm. Very excited about that. I kind of want to try and factor in a little NYC trip while I'm there. It's been a little while. And then every year I say that I want to go to Salem around Halloween time <laughs> because I love my witches. But we'll see. I guess it depends on work. Yeah. I need to set up my dive studio next week, hopefully, during my time off. I still die at my mom's house, but I need to I need to move it over here before winter. Mm -hmm. It'll be much easier. Yeah, it'll be so much easier. I'll have more space. I won't be competing with countertops and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's just finding the time to do it. I'm gonna hire someone to clean my basement because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> There's too many creepy crawlies down oh, there. Just get a shop back, it'll be fun. I know, I'm such a weenie though. <laughs> like one centipede and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yes, so. Lots of stuff looming on the horizon. Yes, fall is, fall is coming. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, 
Yeah, so remember our knit along. Kelso C. Kelso C. Uh, post chat. We'll have prizes. Maybe we'll do a prize drawing halfway through because it runs until the beginning of September. Mm -hmm. So we'll do some prize drawings. We'll have some st stuff from our stashes to give away as prizes. Maybe we'll see if we find something cool at Stitches. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. There's some good stuff. That is. Find some local fare. Neat. And Tits Out Collective, mm -hmm. month of July. I have so many that I want to buy, which is not helping. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hopefully it won't be another three weeks before we see you again. Yeah. Try so. to get back on our schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you have to No, I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning Thanks in. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the internet. Yes.